Tanong po ni uh, Laila Salaveria ng Inquirer, in light of the massive uh, devastation uh, suffered by several provinces, what will happen to the government's uh, vaccination targets? Uh, does Malacanang daw uh, CA need to revise uh, its target for this year as some uh, LGUs may not be able to immediately uh, conduct mass vaccinations? Yes, the, um, our NVOC, um, and um, this was already announced by Secretary um, Charlie, uh, will continue to ramp up our vaccination efforts, and we will still continue to stick with the 54 million target uh, by uh, end of uh, 2021. May bago pong in-issue ang, uh, ang NVOC, no? Tungkol dito. Uh, if I may read, um, in light of the uh, typhoon Odette um, and um, well, what's happening on the ground no? yung National COVID-19 Vaccination Operation Center has provided the following directives for Cordillera Administrative Region the National Capital Region Regions 1, 2, 3 and 4A they shall extend the implementation of Bayanian Bakunahan National COVID-19 Vaccination Days Part 2 until December 22, 2021 and continue to intensify COVID-19 vaccination activities until December 31 of 2021. And for the regions affected by Typhoon Odette, they shall implement their Bayanian Bakunahan National Vaccination Days Part 2 vaccination activities from December 20 to 22 and continue to intensify COVID-19 vaccination activities until December 31, 2021. And to achieve the target of fully vaccinating 54 million Filipinos by end of the year, local government units and local VOCs are mandated to prioritize the administration of due second doses and the administration of Janssen vaccines to the unvaccinated adults. Whereas all local VOCs shall be provided with new targets to meet the goal of vaccinating 54 million and are enjoined to ramp up the administration of COVID-19 vaccines until December 31, 2021, including weekends. So this is a total of nine days. So ibig sabihin, um, we are mindful, aware, and sensitive uh, to the realities on the ground especially para dun sa mga um, tinamaan ng Typhoon Odette. And we know that uh, local government units na tinamaan ng Typhoon Odette will still uh, be very um, busy in all their repair, rehab, recovery efforts para sa kanila mga kababayan. So those na hindi masyado o di gaano apektado dun sa pananalasa nitong Typhoon Odette, we will call upon them to ramp up the vaccination efforts. To those affected by Typhoon Odette, of course, the priority will be their rehab and recovery. Pero if as soon as they're ready, if they're ready within the year, and makita naman po natin na makayanan din po natin na bigyan ng konting push for the vaccination efforts doon, um, we will do the same. Ang bottom line po is uh, we are sensitive to the realities of the, on the ground. And we will adjust accordingly, uh, mindful of uh, what is happening right now on the ground, but mindful also that we still need to fight this COVID-19 pandemic through massive vaccination. So the target remains the same, and we will make the necessary adjustments. No? Um, so, uh, tina natin ano mangyayari uh, by end of December 31, 2021. And um, we, anyway, we still have the first quarter also of 2022. If kailangan mag-catch up, then we will have to adjust accordingly.